Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we got a fun one. We're going to look at Friends by Led Zeppelin off of Led Zeppelin 3. So uh, we got to get into proper tuning here. Jimmy Page on the original recording, um, he uses a, um, a open C6 tuning. Uh, so what does that mean? Now basically we're going to change three of the strings to the note C. So you're going to take the your E string and tune it down two whole steps to C. I'll have these notes written in the description as well. So um, now the A string stays the same. So it's an A note that actually makes it a C6. All right, then we're gonna take the D string and tune that down just a whole step this time to C. So the sixth there and the fourth string are both C's. G string stays the same, yay. Um, and now on the B string, we're going to tune that up a half step to C. So we have three C's, six, four, and two. All right, and then we get to keep the high E string the same. So we keep three strings the same, but we retune uh, the sixth, fourth, and second string to C. All right, now after we're in the tuning, it sounds really cool and by itself. And this song sounds great, just the guitar parts, just a lot of Jimmy Page's uh, acoustic stuff especially sound great just as an instrumental uh, without the vocals so uh, it's a lot of fun to play let's start here with this little intro we have uh, and it sounds like this and it takes us into that main uh, section there main riff so um, we're just going to be basing this, a lot of this song, just by placing your, uh, your um, you need to use your middle finger here at the third fret on the A string, and the rest strings open. So he starts with a, starts, starts with an up stroke. Up, down, up, down. That's the very first thing when he enters the song. And then we have this. So he strums that same chord down, up, and then he places the third fret on the sixth string and the fourth string. So it's the third fret on the bottom three strings. Then you pick it back up. So we have this down, up, down, up, down. All right, he's gonna play this chord again, but he doesn't play this much more in the rest of the song. Then we do this which is, you're going to play this a lot in the song, which is all the strings open, then place the third finger on the A string, then the open again. So I have, the, so I have this so far. Now when you make it to that chord right there, this one starts continually strumming down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So you could get the same, he uses a kind of a strict eighth note pattern, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, with some accenting. Um, that The accenting doesn't necessarily stay consistent, so it's not really worth kind of going through them. Just kind of strumming it through like that. So we have this. Back to the chords. Kind of the same thing we did before. So we have this, the just of the third fret on the A string, put them down, pick them all up, and then back down with that the original chord. So we have this. All right, then we make it to the main riff, which is actually serves as the chorus of the song. It sounds like this. Alright, so we're starting with that same original chord. Now kind of keep a straight eighth note feel. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The tempo is pretty quick, it's like 160 some beats, so it's just 
one, two, three, four, like that. All right, so we basically keep that going. And we play a melody with it on the top two strings. So we have this down, zero, zero on the top two strings, then three on the B string and the high E string. I know it's a C tune to C, I'm just gonna call it B just so it doesn't confuse people. So we have this down, up, three. So the, the notes, melody notes are always gonna be the top two strings. So it's three, then go back to zero on those. So we have this. Then play two on the B and the high E together. Then open. And then strum that a couple times open. So we have this. All right. Then we play two, zero, two, zero. Then two, three. So we have this so far. And here, when we get to the threes, you're gonna pick up the finger on the bottom, on the, on the A string, because you're gonna do this. You wanna do. That's kind of always when you kind of turn around to start going back to the melon notes. He keeps going to this every two measures. So we have this. And then. Uh, it's three zero two zero again. A couple of strums there, and then we go two, three, two, zero, two, zero. So the the main thing here is if you can hum that melody. So you just kind of hum through it so you can then add it to the low stuff. All right, so let's go through what we got so far nice and slow. Start over. Now the this time when you get here, instead of going, you go to these octaves off the uh, third uh, fret of the A string, muting the D string in between, and then the, playing the fifth fret there on the G. You have that with a low, well it's a low C string right now play it there so all right and then we go into this little octave thing where we take those octaves of the so that's three I'm gonna call out the where the first fingers at three six five eight seven ten nine and then we go back that little open three open to get back to the the same figure again so we go back to the same riff we did before so let me play all through it very slow um, so you can see how it transitions back Hold that there, and then we get to the verse section, which sounds like this. It uses all octaves.
All right, so you kind of stay there on that last chord actually instead of coming back. So um, those chords, uh, real quick, we have basically the same melody played twice, and then the uh, third time through, you saw that went a little higher up there, so that's a different little part there. So we'll have to cover that separately, uh, and that makes up for the whole verse. All right, so we're gonna start here with. Uh, now this is, you're playing that octave shape on the same two strings we did before, pretty much muting the D string, but all the other strings, the low C there, and the top C and the high E, let them all ring out. So from there, remember, got a really eighth note feel, then 10, nine, that's where the index finger's at, the same chord shape, then 10, 12, then 7, 9. Then to get back to the beginning of that melody, we play the 4th fret, really ominous sounding, and it take, resolves back down to the first one. So we have this. Just start over. Now the third time through starts the same way but has a little extra note in there. So you can see what I was doing there. I just, just started the same way, but when we got to the 10, 12, and move it up to 14 and 12. And then end it with the same two chords, 7, 11. And then from there, we go back to the chorus. So it's the same thing that we did the first time you heard that. We just played through that fully twice. And then it goes back to the verse again and plays the verse the exact same way again. So the only new section we have is the outro, which is a little bit different, but still uses octave shapes. Um, and it starts at the two minute and 51 second mark. Uh, this is what it sounds like. song just kind of chugs along on that octave shape. All right, so what is going on here? We're going to start with the... Um three and a half measures of just that C octave that we started the verse with, um, with all the open strings ringing too. And then he starts doing this melody. It's six, five. So remember, same octave shapes. Then eight seven, then ten nine. So we have that. And then we end it with ten twelve. All right, so after that 10, 12, he starts over by going, moving, instead of doing the, starting over on the three, then going six, five, he goes straight for the six, five. So he basically skipped the three. So you go back six, five, eight, seven, 10, 
9, 10, 12. And then he reverses it a little bit. He goes, instead of going 6, 5, he goes 5, 6, setting it up to go back to 5 and 3. So let me just play through that outro section one more time slowly for you so you can really find out that how it starts with a 3 and then it goes 6, 5, 8, 7, 10, 9, 10, 12. And then we skip the third fret and just go right to the 6, 5 and build our way back up again. And then we have a different ending that leads to uh, where we just strum for quite a few measures on the C, which should we go 5, 6, 5, 3. So it'll make more sense when you hear it. So here we go. kind of plays that chord doing some accents but still that same straight eighth note feel uh through the end of the song all right so i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a crazy tuning but it's a lot of fun to play with as soon as you get into it it's just retuning three strings um and like i said it sounds great just as an instrumental so play it like that if you want all right i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com